Ah, summertime in Indiana. For many Hoosiers, that means enjoying the water and spending time at one of Indiana's state properties and beaches. The Indiana Department of Environmental Management, along with the Department of Natural Resources, the State Department of Health, and the local government agencies, want to make sure you stay healthy and safe while at the lake this summer. That is why, in addition to our other beach monitoring programs, the state checks for blue-green algae, known scientifically as cyanobacteria. It is photosynthetic bacteria, but a long time ago when the scientists were looking at it, it had a lot of characteristics of algae, so it's commonly referred to as blue-green algae, but it's really called cyanobacteria. So we're going to look at the cyanobacteria levels uh, in the lake here, and we do that so that when people start coming out here to swim, we can let them know if they're going to have any risk associated with the cyanobacteria in the water. Why should Hoosiers care about this? It's because some cyanobacteria can produce a toxin harmful to people and pets. If you ingest the water and they're producing toxins, you can get sick from the different toxins that they produce. So can your pets. To take samples and study the water quality of Indiana beaches, IDEM uses sophisticated scientific equipment. First of all, one of the things that we do in all of the lakes and waters that we sample is we use what's called a data sonde. It's kind of like what the doctor does when, when you go to the doctor's office. He takes your blood pressure, he takes your temperature, he does a lot of things to tell what your general health is like. The data sonde will measure the dissolved oxygen in the water, it'll tell us the temperature, it'll look for how much sediment is suspended in the water in the form of turbidity, so it'll tell us how cloudy the water is. So this can tell us a lot about the general health of a water body. Um, um, aside from whether or not there's cyanobacteria in it. After the collections team brings the samples back to the lab, work begins on analyzing the water and seeing if threatening levels of cyanobacteria are present. The analytical team will also look for known toxins produced by cyanobacteria. Indiana uses the World Health Organization guideline level of 100,000 cells per milliliter or a toxin level of six parts per billion for a recreation advisory. Beaches will be closed if toxins reach 20 parts per billion. Exact cell counts and toxin levels can be found on IDEM's website at idem.in.gov slash algae. Can Hoosiers do anything themselves to reduce the amount of cyanobacteria found in Indiana lakes? The answer is yes. Nutrients come largely from runoff from the land surface, uh, over application of fertilizers. People who live on lakes will fertilize their yard with um, a fertilizer that contains phosphorus in it. We would like for people not to use phosphorus fertilizers. Your established lawn does not need phosphorus. There's already plenty of it in the soil. So remember, before you hit an Indiana beach this summer, check IDEM's website for blue-green algae alerts. You can also talk with Department of Natural Resources park employees at the lake who can give you information about water quality at that particular beach.